There you go. We're out of 1984 now. We, next week, we'll be in 1985. Um, Stuart, you've picked another song to play. Okay, this is the point I'll have your listeners reaching for the off switch. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we are talking about earlier is about how a song can evoke an emotion. Uh, and when I listen to this, this, this one just makes me laugh so much. And it reminds me of my childhood. Um, it was a song that came out in, uh, in 1978. And uh, I... It just makes me remember my childhood in Scotland, living in a big old house that we had that didn't have central heating. If you asked me to sum up my childhood, I could do it in one word, cold. (laughs) And my memory of getting up in the morning, getting ready for school, seven years old, uh, lighting the coal fire and getting ready to go to school and listening to Terry Wogan on the radio. Now, in 1977, he was playing a track called Floral Dance by the Brickhouse and Rastic Brass (laughs) Band. And Terry Wogan had this cult following. And it ended up selling half a million records, and it reached number two in 1977 over the Christmas period. So in the new year, he recorded a version of it in which he sung the lyrics, and he made an appearance on Top of the Pops. And so I found the track, and it's Terry Wogan singing the floral dance. Let's have a listen. Incredibly, the man who first brought the floral dance to our attention is now having success with it himself. At 21 this week, it's Terry Wogan. I thought I could hear the curious tone of the cornet You won't hear Terry Bogan on any other show. No, 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 This is actually worse than William Shatner's all yeah. poetry and summer night. The stars in heaven were shining bright. Far away, <laughs> and he was performing it. I, with um, almost incredulity, he was performing it. Let's know that I can't believe I'm here either. Oh, it's like, <laughs> I remember the video, you can actually see his face at all time thinking, no, I really thought someone was going to say, no, we were just kidding. Isn't that really just nearly the elephant? I Fiddle, cello, big bass, strong, bassoon, and flute, and you fall in the young man. Each one making a most of his chance, all together with the four old hands. Text us on 07950 372580. There you go, that was it. <laughs> I know, Ian says I have to apologise for that, I am sorry. The thing I love about that, so that was him, that actually was him for performing that on top of the pops. And the thing that amuses me most is that he's laughing through it, because I think he's standing there performing it going, no, I don't believe I'm here either. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Terry Wogan and the Floral Dance, his own version. His own version of, of it. And what amuses me is that, that was really difficult to find. Uh, I eventually found that on, on YouTube. Um, 
and if ever I meet him in years to come, I'll be able to say, can you remember in this September in 2012, you got a royalty check for a single <laughs> radio play that never happened for years? That was me. <laughs> there you go. That was Terry Rogan and the Floral Dance here on Street Life Radio.